good results. I wish that committee will play the clip at Serena Hotel. We did not have our own results. What we said is that the results that were going to be announced, we disown them because of the manner of opaqueness that that last face was handled. That's what we said. We did say that we had our own results. That's why we are saying now that result needs to be audited. And this is not of our own. It is even in law that any elections need to be verifiable and can be audited at any other particular time. So it is not something that will begin now. It is there in the election act. We emphasize that it should be audited and the servers to be opened. Chair. Uh, Chair, my name is Catherine and my sister Cherera. In your own words, you said the results were handwritten and the results even exited 100%. And how come you never mentioned this to the Supreme Court? You're mentioning it to us here. And those you brought as even the substantiators of the same, never brought it and never, you know, substantiated anything. In your own words, surely. Um, uh, honorable committee, the I commissioner. Also invite you commissioner. to my affidavit to the Supreme Court. Whatever we are saying now, it is in our affidavit that we file at the Supreme Court. Unfortunately, it's like nothing or not everything was read through. We explained everything that we said. And after the Supreme Court gave its ruling, we say we abide by that because it is the apex court of our country. And as law-abiding citizens, we said, yes, we accept it. And from that day henceforth, the Cherera Court have never spoken until today. Let me submit to this honorable committee that everything we have said, it is in our affidavit. Okay, the commissioner, I will request that you allow us, you just stay online, hear a few more questions, then you can note them and answer them together. Uh, Honorable Sess, Governor Sess. Thank you, thank you, Chair. Let me appreciate uh, the two commissioners, Masit and Cherera, who have uh, seen it fit to participate in this uh, sitting, and we appreciate To the four of you, you have said you did not. We were hoping Chebukati would be here, the chair. And he has denied the country the opportunity to hear both sides of the story in a very arrogant manner. We'll be dealing with that matter shortly. The tone of his letter, the arrogance, is something we will uh, deal with. And the high, the high, 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 I think I would say high-handedness with which you are talking about. And you're not the first commissioner he has differed with. He differed with the Commissioner Combe, differed with the other three commissioners in 2017, with the four of you, with uh, Chiloba. It cannot be that the four commissioners, three commissioners, Commissioner Combe, Chiloba are all wrong, and only one man called Chebukati is right. There must be something about uh, his personality, which goes to the root of the problem because article 138 is very clear and the matter came up before the commission before the supreme court looking at the ruling particularly clause 48 of that ruling the chairperson had submitted that the issue of uh, verifying and telling was his exclusive authority the supreme court differed with him in the paragraph 49, they were very categorical. And if I may read that, we find that the chairperson cannot arrogate him to himself the power to verify and to tally the results of the presidential election to the exclusion of the other members of the commission 
meaning yourselves. And uh, indeed, Article 138.10, this is what he's been relying on, because he's saying as a returning officer, it was his prerogative. And they said, indeed, Article 138.10 of the Constitution, although the power to declare the results of a presidential election after verification and tallying is vested in the chairperson, he does so only as a delegate of the commission. One of you having sat, tallied, verified, and you announced. I do remember, and uh, uh, Irene Masit will remember, Isaac Hassan was also our classmate at the university. When he was faced with a similar situation in the previous election, the declaration of the results was delayed for almost seven hours. When Isaac Hassan sat with his colleagues, they were able to build consensus. And when they came out, they came out as a united commission to make that declaration. Now, the concern of this uh, team is that going into the future, having listened from you, you are sidelined, given peripheral roles, and your core mandate was not, you're not given the opportunity to exercise it. In future, there's a danger of a rogue chairman. You are seven. This chairman had two only, minority supporting him. The majority of you up to today have not owned those results, which still cast the shadow on the legitimacy. Even if we say the Supreme Court's ruling was final, many Kenyans, half of this country, did not vote for this president. The majority of that commission did not agree with these results. That shadow can never go, go away. We are saying those servers be opened, and I'm happy to hear from Terera, you have the view that the servers be opened. Many Kenyans want the audit to be done and the truth to be known. We are very grateful your time to appear before us, and like your arrogant chair, who but did I, I the don't think I don't think it is fair. For you to have constantly, Sorry, you know, chair, it is also some, not fair for him to have constantly gone, uh, gone on the vestiges of you the character of a person, and people but of, of people who are here. But when you start casting expression on people who are not here, and to try and uh, de 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 derogate their characters uh, because you do not like what he did or what he decided, yeah. it's not fair. And have you make so, your point? No, the views so are afraid. Is Maybe the something thing is afraid. Honorable, 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 honorable,